Hello pilots, welcome back to the channel. If you are having problems with the spatial orientation test or if you want to do it faster and score 100, you are watching the right video. In this video I'm going to explain it and you will see it's very easy once you understand it and you will do it faster and better. At Bartelny Hangar, information whiskey request set up and ATC clearance or intention school training area. Bartelny to Romeo. Okay, so we start with the first example, which is quite easy. You'll need an aircraft symbol, uh, which you have to align with the heading of the aircraft. And then the, the yellow arrow, the same as the indication where the station is. And then you put it above the aircraft symbol. Then you move the aircraft symbol along with the indication where the station is and you have to put it over here because here is north is always up then you have to align the aircraft heading which is 315 heading 315 you put it over here and then you can clearly see that this is the heading and where the station is pointing so it can only be number 4 as you can see here because the aircraft is going on that heading and the indication is towards the station. So it can only be this symbol, this aircraft symbol, placed on number 4. It's quite easy as well. So the aircraft symbol, again, we move it to represent the heading of the aircraft. Then the arrow, which represents again the direction of the um, station. We move it next to the airplane symbol and then we move it together to the RBI because over there the north is always up. Then as soon as we do that again we start rotating the symbols together so that the heading of the airplane is the one indicated in the gyro. And then of course we move them together and the direction of the station is clearly shown by the yellow arrow. We can see is number 7. It's clear as that. Okay, the next uh, the next one, again the airplane symbol, we move it over here. I think from the next example I will we'll leave it like this, so it's easier to follow and shorter, faster. Alright, then again the arrow representing the direction of the station. We can put it uh, next to the aircraft symbol or the, the gyro. Then together we move the both of the symbols, the aircraft symbol and the arrow in the RBI section then we rotate so the aircraft heading has the correct heading and then of course can only be number 4 but we can go down if you if you feel you cannot do it mentally you can use your fingers one finger is the aircraft and one is the direction of the station and you do the same process but but with your fingers All right as I was saying it's only that aircraft heading and number four. Right, the next example we have the aircraft symbol of course the arrow pointing to the station and then we just move the arrow and you see you can also calculate the angle but whatever works for you. Anyway we move the aircraft symbol together with the station direction and then we rotate both symbols to put the aircraft heading of 315er and then it's, it's pretty obvious is number 1 which is the top one because the station is pointing downwards all right here we go anyway if you understood you can already stop but uh, it's worth seeing all the examples at the end I'm going to tell you which one is the most similar to the assessment, the real assessment ones. Alright, so this is another one. Of course we align the, the arrow with the direction of the station, to the station. And then we align it on the... Okay, it can only be number 5 because the aircraft is going north, the station is north. That was very easy actually. Alright, the next one, we have uh, the heading, this is very easy, so it should be a right angle to the left, you see 90 degrees to the left, you can also do it by calculating the angle, 
after you put the heading you know it's 90 degrees to the left or you can always use the method with the with the fingers or with the with the drawing <coughs> mentally drawing all right so it can only be number six and the heading that one all right okay now another example quite easy as well just follow what uh, I said before and you can clearly see that this is gonna be number five okay so yeah maybe a little bit it, can, it cannot be number four number six the the arrow clearly shows the direction of the station okay another one this is quite easy as well maybe the not the easiest but it's quite easy to figure it out because aircraft is going south it can only be number one so aircraft going south and number one this one okay we can use uh, again the method of the angle no need to move both of them because you can clearly see that if you are going to one three fiver in the station is going to be at your back so it can only be number four all right but let's also do this just to support the statement that can be only that heading and number four okay and i think this is the last one out of the out of the 10 examples this is the last one and it's quite easy as well you don't really have to draw it you can click this is number six but the arrow is pointing to the station so clearly number six not seven not five but six and the heading of course is north heading all right thank you very much for watching all this video and uh, having the patience to stick to the end i recommend do not wait until you get an ass assessment assigned because usually if you apply for Ryanair for example you get the assessment in less than 10 days so uh, practice makes it better as I always say and uh, don't waste your time practice in advance it's, it's very good uh, anyway th this website was uh, the one I, that I used uh, latestpilotjobs.com uh, you have a easy medium hard option and you can see your average score and the uh, global score on each uh, level of difficulty and it's very good to practice this one is the most similar to the ones in the real assessment so if you want to use this one and you don't want to spend the 30 euros uh, 35 dollars that they're asking for a month you can become my patreon and i can give you free access for a month then you also have airlineassessmentprep.com this one uh, is also with a subscription you have to pay i think 19 euros for for a month and you have all the 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 cut e test that uh, Ryanair, for example, is using or Aer Lingus. Okay, so as I was saying, is 19 euros and 90 cents per month and 34, 35 euros for three months, the subscription. But also you have another option, which is the cheapest one. Actually, it's a free website. It's called PilotTest.com, and you have to choose. Uh, it's in French, but you can choose also English, and you have to log in, and then you can practice. Uh, uh, most of the CATI tests for free uh, for example the spatial orientation it's uh, it's right here you can see you have the relative bearing, bearing indicator that's the spatial orientation one and uh, you can practice it and it's quite similar you have an example here more, more or less the all the websites are the same they're trying to explain you and give you an example and then you can just practice it and uh, it's free and it's quite good Alright, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video if you found it useful.